2012 Toyota Sienna preparing it to do some towing. Now this van does not have a towing package, so there's no transmission cooler. So here's the transmission cooler I got. Got it off eTrailer.com, but it's available pretty much everywhere. And uh, here's how we install it. Uh, there's a couple clips that hold this, uh, pins that hold this piece of front grill on, and then just pull that guy off. And there it is. Obviously, you want maximum airflow, so you want it right there. Now, there was a horn on this side. I took it off, remounted the horn over there. There's a hole cut into that, or uh, drilled into that already, that bracket. So I just put a nut on it. Now, the transmission cooler, it's held in place with RTV. Room temperature vulcanizer. You know, that stuff you use to make gaskets with. Well, it's amazingly strong. And uh, here's a picture of the box. Can't really see this anymore. Um, but you see this, this plate where you can either, you know, screw it in place or whatever. Well, all I did was put a ton of RTV on the flat back side of that plate. And then I just stuck it against the condenser. And, of course, all the RTV gushes into those little... Uh, little grooves and holes in there creating a super strong I mean amazingly strong this is not going to fall off and because that coating is somewhat rubberized in itself it's going to it's not going to abrade the uh, the surface and I know this is going to come off when I was putting these lines on they were so hard to push over the nipples there that if this thing was going to pop off it, it would have popped off already so there's also a little clip right up there at the top of the condenser that helped hold it all in place now this kit comes with hose and you know what the hose was 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 actually too small for the condenser so I went out and got new hose let me show you that real quick okay so there's a new hose I got it comes with uh, 5 16 too small so I got this 3 8 make sure it's uh, it's it's uh, rated to um, to high PSI, you know, like fuel line is rated to 50 PSI. That's not good enough. So it has to be around three, 400 PSI. So that's, that's that. You can need about six feet. Okay, look underneath the vehicle. That's the transmission line on the passenger side of the vehicle. That's the pressure line. So the pressure is being, the transmission fluid is being pushed into the radiator, comes across, and then comes out this this line right here and normally goes right back into the transmission but now it goes up to the cooler and the lines come back from the cooler what you're going to do is you're not going to connect this there there's the connector for it on the transmission i took this original line out that went from the radiator to the transmission that's that's out before you connect this you're going to run your system and verify you get transmission fluid coming out of this hose on the return side. That means it's got pressure and it's pumping uphill into the transmission cooler and back down. And then you uh, connect that guy right there. A couple notes on where I ran the lines. So this is looking from the front towards the rear. There's the bottom of the condenser. You've got the lines going through there. You don't want to run the lines underneath this because you got that splash shield that will hit it. I put some uh, some of that protecting plastic sheathing around it. I'll look at it again from the top in a second. 